Kyrie Irving expected to come back. There are trade rumors around him. Gordon Hayward, which people aren't really talking about too much for some reason, he's set to come back on this star-studded team full of young talent. Young talent. Young talent. Are they the favorites in the East? Are you convinced? I'll say they are favorites in the East just because, you know, they went to a game seven without their best player in Kyrie Irving and even, um, say, the second best player in Gordon Hayward. And uh, it just seemed like that young talent had really got chemistry. You know, they beat a 76ers team who coming into the second round, oh, that, they don't have a chance, you know, of, of going against a Ben Simmons, a, a Joel Embiid, but they, they beat him, I think, in five games. So I think they're definitely a lock, or they should be the favorites coming out of the East. You know, we, we'll explain uh, some other teams like Toronto Raptors and 76ers as well, but if this team can almost make it to the NBA Finals with, without, the two, without the two stars, I mean, Putting them back into the lineup, I understand chemistry. You know, we have to see how, how, how they develop and stuff. But why, why can't they make it? I think you're wrong, Sean. I think I'm wrong. Th this wow. team isn't favored in the East. And I'm Ooh. gonna tell you why they're not favored in the East. I've heard so many rumors and, and just so many signs that Kyrie Irving doesn't want to play there anymore. And he just got to the team. Kyrie Irving's looking at it like, look, dude, I left Cleveland, right? Because I didn't want to be number two to LeBron James. He heavily looks up to Kobe Bryant, heavily influenced by Kobe Bryant. And you know, Kobe was an alpha. And Kyrie Irving wants to be looked at as an alpha. Okay. Well, guess what? He goes out with injury. Jason Tatum all of a sudden, scoring 18 and a half points, up from his 14 points during the regular season, or nearly 14 points. Jason Tatum looks like a star. Jalen Brown looks like a star as well, too. Rozier looks really good. Now, that's without Kyrie and Irving in the lineup, that these guys are doing better. Not to mention Gordon Hayward, that's another star right there. They have a lot of money tied into these guys. Yeah. So there's obviously going to be some chemistry issues. Yeah. Who's the star of this team now, Sean? That's my question right there. Yeah, question. And that yeah. matters, because Kyrie Irving didn't come to the Celtics okay. to be second but fiddle. You know what they, you know he what knew what he was getting himself into. He does. And you know what that sounds? sounds pity, though. It sounds like, it's, oh, I'm not the star because this and that and that. Look, and... Go play. Be the star. Because, I mean, I understand, okay, you know, you play with LeBron James for four straight years. You got a championship. You lost in the finals three times. You know, you're injured one time. Let me go and see, you know, if I can have my own team. Okay, you got hurt. Come back this year and go play. I'm just, I think I get frustrated because it's like. I, I see you strong. You, you never see emotion yeah, out of Sean. Like, I hear the frustration. Like, if you're the best player, go, sh go show you the best player. I mean, I'm saying this, album. though. I, am I wrong? Did he not leave Cleveland to have his own team? Look at the roster he went to. I think he Gordon, was going to show his talents. But, but look at the roster he, he went to. Give me, give me a second. Look at the roster he went to. Gordon Hayward, not really an alpha type guy. Horford, not an alpha type guy. Marcus Smart, he's a pretty good player, not a great player. Look at Baines. He knew what he was getting himself into with the Celtics. He got traded to the Celtics to be the man. And now you can't say with a straight face, Sean, because I can't, that he is definitely the man, even though I do think he's the best player. I'm going by the resume right. on that Boston team. Right. A lot of people are saying, hmm, Jason Tatum, how good can Brown be? Right. I mean, we're, I'm not going to reach and say Rozier because a bad taste in my mouth from the way they exited the playoffs. He, he <laughs> just missed everything. He did. But those two young pieces, right. Celtics have to make a move. I'm hearing rumors of maybe the Knicks would be interested, which I would love it being a Knicks fan. Of course he would. <laughs> but I'm not convinced Kyrie Irving wants to be – Second Celtics. fiddle with the Celtics. All I say is, this, as, a, as an athlete, as a competitor, just if you don't want to be second fiddle, you just show that you're the first option. I mean, it's that simple. And that's why I got upset because it's always, ah, well, I don't feel this type of way or I might need to change another team. You just got to Boston. They went to the, you almost went to the big finals. Maybe if Kyrie was there, at least you can say this, maybe if I was there, we, we would have beat LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Because I'm pretty sure, even with. Jason Tatum, you know, rising, emerging as a star. Um, you know, Jalen Brown showing up. If Kyrie Irving would have played in that in that series, I, I think I think they would have been playing uh, against Golden State. So, so. until I, until I get clarity <laughs> yeah. on the situation, how things are going to play out, and I want to see their projected starting lineup next year for the Celtics. I want to see a, a definite starting lineup. I have to say, I'm feeling the Sixers more right now. I'm not so good. because they're two corner store stars. That's a beautiful mix right there. Ben Simmons, Joel Embiid, hopefully Fultz. If Markel Fultz comes in and gives me 12 to 15 points a game next season, he's doing his damn job. And if three years from now he can get us 20 points a game, we're talking about Philly, 
year after year competing for championships. Because Ben Simmons is a floor general. He's huge. That's he ever gets a jump shot, he'll be way too dangerous. And Joel Embiid looks like a baby Elijah Wan. <laughs> so what I'm saying is this. They're a, they're a problem. Mm -hmm. and, the rap, and the Raptors. I'm not going to cancel out the Raptors because I believe Leonard will be healthy. Basically sitting out all last year, all that San Antonio drama is behind him. He's a top two two-way player, Sean. We can't overlook that. He's in the East now, which means it's a feast. Like you said. LeBron James is gone. Yeah. Those two teams right there. Mm -hmm. I, I do put them ahead of the Wizards. I'm not going to reach too much. They're ahead of the Wizards. Because right. I don't know what Dwight I'm going to get. If I get a motivated Dwight, I get a motivated Wall who stays healthy. I get a Bradley Beal who's on the same page as Wall. That team could compete too. The, the East is not going to be open. a cakewalk for the Celtics. Yeah.